It was a crisp January morning in Portland, Oregon and Alaska. Airlines Flight 1282 was bustling with passengers. Among them, Emily, a young artist seeking solace from the winter blues. Her sketchbook tucked under her arm, she dreamed of channeling the golden Californian sun into her art. Then there was George, a businessman with his eyes set on the horizon of beachside meetings. His suitcase held not just documents, but dreams of a successful deal. Aboard this spanking new Boeing 737 MAX 9, passengers were oblivious to the intricate engineering that brought the plane to life. Near the rear of the plane, hidden from sight, an unassuming plug covered an unused exit door. This wasn't just any plug, it was an essential piece of engineering, a safeguard for maintaining cabin pressure and structural integrity. But within this crucial component, a silent flaw lurked. A flaw so minute it was almost invisible. But in the world of aviation, even the tiniest imperfections can escalate into life-threatening situations. This seemingly insignificant plug was a ticking time bomb, its faulty latch waiting to unleash chaos in the skies. As the plane taxied down the runway, Emily imagined the warm Californian sun on her skin, while George mentally rehearsed his upcoming presentation. They, like their fellow passengers, were caught up in their thoughts, their expectations, their dreams. The silent threat of the door plug was far from their minds. As the plane took to the skies, the ordinary morning was about to take an extraordinary turn. The passengers, their hearts filled with anticipation for their sunny destinations, were unaware of the impending disaster. The tiny, unassuming piece of metal that held their fates was about to reveal its silent flaw. Little did Emily and George know, their fates were held in the precarious grip of a tiny, unassuming piece of metal. Minutes after takeoff, a sudden deafening roar tore through the cabin. With that roar, the tranquility of the flight was shattered. This wasn't the hum of engines or the clatter of trays. It was a primal, terrifying sound that gripped the passengers in an icy fear. In the blink of an eye, the peaceful ascent transformed into a scene of chaos. Emily's sketchbook, once a canvas of serene sketches, was now a flurry of pages whirling in the chilling wind that whipped through the aisles. George's coffee, once a steaming comfort, was now a cold, forgotten spill, lost in the tumult. The door plug, a seemingly insignificant piece of metal, had given way, leaving a gaping hole in the side of the Boeing 737 MAX 9. Panic erupted as windows blurred and oxygen masks dropped from the overhead compartments. The cabin, which moments ago buzzed with the quiet hum of conversation and the rustling of newspapers, was now a symphony of alarm bells and terrified gasps. Amid the panic, the captain's voice emerged over the intercom, strained yet calm. Emergency descent, brace for impact, he announced. The words hung in the air, a chilling reminder of the perilous situation. Emily, tears streaming down her face, clutched a fellow passenger's hand, whispering prayers under her breath. George, his thoughts of beachside meetings erased, focused on the oxygen mask, his breaths heavy and labored. As the plane lurched and instruments whirred, their plans for sunny California became a distant dream. The present was a harsh reality of survival, their fates hanging on the skill and expertise of the pilots. Emily and George, their plans forgotten, focused on survival as the plane began its agonizing descent. The descent felt like an eternity, each tremor a brush with oblivion. The world outside was an abstract painting of rushing clouds and a rapidly nearing Earth. Yet, as the pilots wrestled for control, their skill and nerves the only shield against the cold grip of mortality, the plane began to stabilize. Finally, after what seemed like hours, the wheels screeched against the tarmac. The plane had landed. The relief that washed over the passengers was palpable, a collective sigh that echoed through the cabin a testament to their shared ordeal. The fading evening sun was punctuated by the flashing lights of emergency vehicles, dotting the landscape like stars in a twilight sky. As they swarmed the aircraft, the passengers slowly began to disembark. Each step onto the solid ground was a step away from the fear that had gripped them, a step towards the comforting familiarity of the everyday. They carried with them a newfound appreciation for the ground beneath their feet, a simple, life-giving solidity that they had taken for granted. The aftermath was a whirlwind of activity, 
Investigations were launched, questions asked, answers sought. The culprit was finally unveiled. A manufacturing defect in the door plug. A microscopic error, a tiny oversight that had grown into a near catastrophe. It was a stark reminder of the delicate balance between human ingenuity and the unforgiving laws of physics. Yet, amidst the chaos, there was a quiet resilience. The passengers, each carrying their own personal scars from the ordeal, returned to their lives. Among them were Emily and George. Shaken but alive, they returned home, their lives forever marked by their shared brush with mortality. Emily's paintings took on a new depth, each stroke a testament to her survival. George, his business deal forgotten, found solace in the simple act of breathing, each breath a reminder of the preciousness of life. Their stories, like the others, became a part of the larger narrative, a testament to human resilience in the face of adversity. In the aftermath, the door plug incident became a stark reminder of the delicate balance between human ingenuity and the unforgiving laws of physics. It was a wake-up call for the aviation industry, a harsh truth that even the smallest of oversights can lead to catastrophic outcomes. The incident spurred a thorough re-evaluation of safety protocols. Manufacturers scrutinized every nut, bolt, and plug, every seemingly insignificant piece of metal. Airlines grounded their fleets of similar aircraft, prioritizing passenger safety over profits. The National Transportation Safety Board conducted rigorous investigations, leaving no stone unturned. The door plug incident, as it came to be known, had set off ripples that touched every corner of the aviation world. But the ripples extended far beyond the confines of airport hangars and corporate boardrooms. They reached into the hearts and lives of those on board that fateful flight. Take Emily, the young artist. Her paintings, once filled with soft pastels and dreamy landscapes, took on a new depth. The memory of the terrifying descent, the primal fear, the held breaths, they all found their way onto her canvas. Her art became a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. And then there was George, the businessman. His priorities, once dominated by profit margins and boardroom politics, underwent a seismic shift. He traded beachside meetings for video calls, cherishing the comfort and safety of home. The incident was a stark reminder of the fragility of life, prompting him to focus on what truly mattered. The story of the door plug that blew off is not just about a technical failure, it's a testament to human resilience, a reminder of the preciousness of life, and a call for constant vigilance in the pursuit of safety. It's a story that serves as a poignant reminder that safety is not a destination, but a continuous journey, a relentless pursuit. It's a story that echoes in the heart of every flight we take, a story of a tiny plug that taught us a monumental lesson.